tell us what the headlines were for your, from your point of view. I said you beat the estimates at least to the street. Uh, good morning, David. Thanks for having me on the show. Uh, we had a great quarter. With sales were up 10 percent, earnings were up 13 percent, both ahead of the street, and we raised guidance for the remainder of the year on both top and bottom line. And that was driven by great uh, acquisitions that we just recently did, Actillion and Abbott Medical Optics, and overall strength in our pharmaceutical business, particularly immunology and oncology products are just doing great. So how much of it was the Actillion acquisition? The Actillion acquisition was a $30 billion acquisition, and this year, uh, this quarter, it added about uh, a significant amount of growth to our, to our quarterly earnings, uh, as well as top line. It's about a $2.6 billion business overall. Obviously, it contributed greatly to our growth this quarter. So pharmaceuticals have really been driving your business revenue and profit going, for, uh, going forward. What's going on with medical devices? Where are you? I saw it was $6.6 .6 billion, I think. Is that better than you expected? Is that growing? Where is that going? So uh, medical devices obviously has the benefit of the Abbott Medical Diagno the Abbott Medical Optics business that we acquired. So without that, uh, the, the growth was about 1.2%, about stable with the second quarter, although some, some disruption in sales due to recent uh, weather-related matters uh, that we've all uh, seen. But other than that, stable uh, and, and, and growing going forward with new product launches on the horizon. And where are you? You're reviewing, as I understand it, your diabetes device business. Where are you in that review? When do you expect to have an answer about what you want to do with it? So we're in the process of uh, entertaining uh, offers for that particular business. We've done strategic reviews across all three elements of that business. Some of the, of the diabetes business we decided to discontinue, and others we're looking to see whether the asset may be better off in the hands of another owner, and that process is ongoing.